He was a fellow who did crazy things. No one ever understood why he tried to kill himself twice a day, three times on Saturday. All he would ever say was that he wanted to escape. Part of his act was to have himself handcuffed and sealed in a coffin after his wife passed him the key and a kiss. Like his mother said, a lunatic. Maybe that's why we all loved him. stage was set for the final escape. I've got to be out of my mind. I'm supposed to be a nurse. Two days out of the hospital. I never should have let you come out here on a day like this. I want to be cremated. I'll keep warm longer. There he is. Right next to Mama. She's got him all to herself at last. After all these years, she finds. Hello, Beth. Easy. Minnie. This place is starting to look like his dressing room. Well, I gotta get back to the city. I got a matinee. Anyone we know? You're not as sick as you look. Minnie, could you let me be here alone? For a few minutes. Okay. I'll go window shop. Hello, Harry. You haven't changed. Mrs. Houdini? Mrs. Houdini? Yes. I wouldn't intrude like this, but it is important. Well, who are you? And how did you know I was here? I went to your house first. Your maid told me. That was a cleaning woman. I'm the maid. And the nurse and the companion. I also juggle and wrestle Dixie. Minnie, do I know you? No, I don't think so. I'm the Reverend Arthur Forward, rector of the First Spiritualist Church in New York. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. Don't you read the papers? I've withdrawn the offer. Come on, honey. Come on. Mrs. Houdini, I am not interested in the $10,000. Shall I whistle Dixie? Reverend Ford, in the two years since Harry died, I've been convinced he was right. All those who claim to be in contact with the hereafter are either crooks or lunatics. Take your choice, Reverend. Personally, I don't think you're a lunatic. Nice to meet you. I practice a religion, not a fraud, Mrs. Houdini. Now somebody is trying to contact you from the beyond through me. Oh, come on, Reverend Harry, and I used to do that in the act. And badly, too. Come on, let's get a taxi. Does the name Cecilia mean anything to you? Mrs. Weiss, Harry's mother? Yes. 
Excuse me, Reverend, I never cared to hear from the old bag when she was alive. I certainly don't care to listen to her when she's dead. Now, come on, Minnie, I'm getting cold. Let's go home. If you all hear from Robert E. Lee, tell him he lost. Let's go home, honey. I think you was a real minister. Why not? I am. Remember? Harry had me ordained once by mail order. Of course, what I really want to be is a witch doctor, but you have to go to school for that. <coughs> oh, horrible. It's like bootleg boot. Next time I'll put an olive in it. I'll make you some tea. Mm -hmm. On your way out, would you straighten on this picture? I could have sworn I straightened that when we came in. Why do you keep it hanging? I promised Harry. What does that be at this hour? Yeah. 
Daddy? Please. Be quick. I'm not using the code. Mass is 
mother showed up for the Catholic ceremony. Harry's mother came to the Orthodox one. It was a kosher Mexican standoff, and the battle was only beginning. The Grangelinis broke in their act with a traveling pet show. Harry sent Mama half their salary every week. On closing night, he promised Beth if they didn't make a smash yet and get a big raise the next season, they'd get out of showbiz, if that's what they were in. Good job. 
We've got to give six as a good name. Come on, we're going to escape. We've got to practice. Oh, not that again. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, through my mystical powers of telepathy, I shall guess whatever the little lady has in her hand. Ta-da! Pray tell me, sir. P. Pray B. R. Tell. E. C. G. Is that it? P-R-E-G? What do you do? That's what?
do. Change up. Harry. Real gold? 100%. How much was it? Just read the engraving. I think I'm gonna cry. You ever tell anyone what it says? Or the night? Where'd you get the money? I sold the act. Costumes, everything. You never take that off your finger, you hear? As long as you live. You mean I'm wearing the whole act on my finger? I don't want it. It's not the whole act. I had to pay the hospital bill, too. Harry, how could you sell the act? It wasn't easy. Everybody read the notices. Come on, I'm putting you to bed. Don't do this for me. I'll hate myself. I'm doing it for me. How do you think I feel being a flop, huh? I've got, got a good job in a tie factory. I'm the best tie cutter they ever had. Every time I finish a tie, I take a bow. The tie factory? Mm -hmm. With two dozen stinking old men? Maybe they'll wash. You tell the truth, Harry. Mama made you do this, didn't she? Didn't she? Best, you never take off this ring as long as you live, you hear? Don't touch me. Best, come here. Don't Best. touch me. Best, Stay come away here. From come me. back. Best, Just get into bed. Don't touch me. Are you crazy? No. Best, open the door. Best, come in. Open, Sesame. Hi, everybody. 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 Hi, Leave us alone. Bess, would you please settle down? So you see, it's hopeless. Bess has gotten herself all upset because she thinks she made me sell the act. How could you do such a thing? It's his whole life. Bess, I'll get over it. You're more important. Just all the magic, the goldfish and everything. Mommy, you never wanted me to be a magician. I'm taking the job at the pie factory and that's it. See, you better do this to support her wife that can't even have his children. Don't you let her twist things around. You're not going to let her shake the card. You're going to let her lie. Both of you, shut! My idea is to make How do you think I feel? I've been to every booking office in the town. Ray Houdini's going to get hired to follow Fink's mules. All your friends say that you should go to Europe. It'll be different. That's in Europe. More theaters, bigger audiences. It's easier to start in Europe. No, it is. Yes, it is. And once they want you over there, they want you twice as much here. You want to go? More than anything in the world. Let me hear it from him. Who needs it? This ought to pay for part of the trip to you. I only made a down payment. It wouldn't take us past Hoboken. Um, I was, um, saving money to buy a headstone. Mom. What for? When I die, everybody will know who I am. The great Houdini's mother. Not bad. Europe. Take him, Eric. Take it, Harry. Please, you should stay off my side. All right. I'm going to send for you. When I become a hit, I'm going to send for you. Relatives will drop dead. I'll make you the queen of Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Mama. Come here. Nineteen hundred. Twentieth century. On the outside.
can't get out. There's a body over there. I was thrown out. Here, have some of my beer. Here he is. Suicide. Mr. Slater? Who might you be? Take a card, sir. The great Houdini. The greatest magic act in the business. Top billing every second in America. Well, I've never heard of you. Why don't you see me at the theater? Well, that's exactly what we've been trying to do, Mr. Slater. We've been sitting in your outer office every day for a week now. But you're always too busy to see us. Yet you take two hours for lunch. Uh, uh, anyway. the, lady, the lady is my wife, the greatest mind reader in Vaudeville. Yes, well, if she can read my mind, she's no lady. It's rather good, don't you think? <laughs> Always the gentleman. Always the gentleman. Well, gentlemen, enough to pick up the bill. Glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, be off with you, otherwise I'll be running. And if you come to my office again, I'll get thrown out. Now, what's it going to be? Hmm? I think I fancy the Scotch salmon. I fancy the lux myself, but I haven't had a decent meal in three days. All Harry wants is an audition. Wait a moment. I'll see that he gets an audition. At the old Bailey. The Ryan. The officer. This is very embarrassing. Is this gentleman yeah. disturbing you, Mr. Slater? Yes, he is. Would you take him away? And a woman, too. Come along. Take your hands off my wife. Oh, Why, certainly. Mm -hmm. Do that in the act. <laughs> Do it again. I'm auditioning. Oh, please don't do this. We didn't mean to cause any trouble. Quiet, miss. Get him on, Jim. Now then, me bucko. We'll see the two of you get what you jolly well deserve. Of course, I think I've written that dialogue. For heaven's sake, officer, let the lady go. And take those silly manacles off the boy. Immediately. How the devil might you two be, begging your pardon? I happen to be Superintendent Melville of Scotland Yard. I don't suppose you've heard of this. You are a bloody idiot. And this is my old friend, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, creator, inventor of Sherlock Holmes. How do you do? Not one of my better days. I just have your wrist, Scout. I'll take off the derbies. Don't bother. Chief British merchandise, sir. Oh, heavens of her. Extraordinary. How the hell did he do? He must have made his arm funny. <laughs> <laughs> And Mr. Houdini, where are you? Yes. Would you be so kind, Mr. Houdini, step in here. I tell you what, and we'll soon find out who's going to win this little bet. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. I do beg your pardon. I'm so sorry. I can't allow that. Mr. Houdini has to be stripped naked. Oh. Well, I've seen him naked. We're very friendly. I'm his wife. Yes, you're also his accomplice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. I do beg your pardon. Now shut the gate, will you? Yes, come along. Come on. Well, it appears you've met your man. Don't mind, sir. I'm all yours, Clark. One week's engagement at the Alhambra? You'll have to get out of this engagement first. And if you don't, you owe me 50 pounds. Don't spend it yet. I started every lock and handcuff in England. I'm the greatest escape artist in the world. Yeah, dear. How American. Yes, well, I think this will kill you. Come here. That's right. He's a new invention of Scotland Yard. Only been used once before. Harry Tyne, you remember him, Arthur? Oh, very well. Killed six of his mistresses. Had a glorious time. Bend over, please. Oh, we'll have a glorious time. If I get out, will you sign a letter on a Scotland Yard stationery? It'll be the last thing I do before I resign. You are examining him thoroughly, Doctor. Every crevice. There's nothing on him the law didn't give him. Except a swollen head. You're a good man, Doc. 
Now come along. I'm rooting for you, old Jeff. You're an authentic character. Yeah. Yeah. Come along. We're going downstairs to my office. I'll give your little wife a glass of sherry and these gentlemen. Then we'll return in exactly one hour to release you. Unless, of course, you've given up sooner. Excuse me, sir. What's that? Where is your office? Oh, uh, just through the barred gate and across the reception area. Save me some sherry. I'll meet you there. Uh -huh. Come along, Mrs. Dupini. Cheeky little beggar. Good luck. I turn out of the office each... What the <laughs> devil? <laughs> what the devil's the matter? Victoria, 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 Victoria,
because you bought it for me. Well, then you're plenty of money to buy a new one. Well, it's not the same thing. That's not that small time. The trick is to get noticed, to get your name in the headlines. It's more important than the act. Poor Harry, you're jealous of Queen Victoria because she thought of dying first, and you can't figure out a way to talk that. I already have. How? By being the first one to come back. Second, Harry, second. You go to your church, I'll go to mine. I bet she'll do it, too, just to take a bow. No, just to see you again. Stop it, Harry, I'm trying to stay mad at you. Bess, look at that. his mother all the way from New York and made it a queen of Budapest, inviting all the relatives to watch Mrs. Meyer Samuel Weiss descend the stairway of the grand ballroom of the Royal Hotel, wearing the gown that had been designed for Queen Victoria. Ugh. It's too tight. I can't breathe. Come on, Mama. Maybe I should go back up there. Mama, I love you. All my life you tell me you want to come back to Budapest and see the relatives. Now you're afraid. No, please. You'll excuse. I can't. What's wrong? Mom. What's wrong? You don't know? Hold my head up. My daughter is a sheep. Everybody's laughing behind her back. Don't do anything like this. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. Mama, this is my wife. I didn't bring her here to hide her. Now, either you come down these stairs with us or we're going to love Hello. Oh, yes, I'm here. I don't speak English. Do you speak English? Fact chance. <laughs> Are you ready? Hmm? Harry, I don't think I can. I've been teaching the words for a week. Please. The best they'll have to accept you. The Jewish Star Spangled Banner. Harry, please, I can. Yes, you can. Hold your breath! On that clock! You will 
see every second in lap. Second by second. At the moment, I submerge myself. Take a deep breath and hold it as long as you can. And here we go. <laughs>
Why do I have to tell you? Because I'm a woman. Harry, when was the last time you told your mother? She was an old lady. What do you want? Queen Victoria's dress. That's what I want. myself in your milk can gimmick. And last week I dislocated my shoulder in the straitjacket. Harry, how much do I have to pay you to take your act back? Pay you. I mean, I've been looking for you for months. They fought a whole war while you were crying in some cemetery trying to starve yourself to death. Pay you. Come to Boston with me after the show. Well, well, what's in Boston? Someone who says she can let us talk to mom. <sighs> so I can find out what she's trying to tell me. Harry. Pay you, you've got to come. You were there with her. Five minutes, the curtain. The great Houdini's gone crazy, and you're worried about a curtain. You're Mr. Houdini? Oh, sure. He changed himself into a bum. It's one of his most amazing tricks. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd drive off a bridge. Handcuffed. I thought you were going to kill yourself. So did I. Yeah, I'm not crazy. I got a letter from Conan Doyle. He swears this medium helped him to speak to his son, the son that was killed in the war. He swears she's legit. Harry, Harry, look. After every war, there are so many dead. Every mother, every father hopes that maybe, maybe one, one out of a million will get through. But you know, not one. It never happens, Harry. But all of the mediums are making a fortune. Mama never called collect. I know that, Theo. That is don't try. Theo, who knows what's impossible? Oh, Harry, this woman in Boston may be different. They say the scientific proof. Scientific proof. Harry, you of all people, I'm surprised that you're not. Don't be a sucker. Don't try talking to Mama. Why don't you talk to Bess, for God's sake? I'm not talking to Bess. I'm never talking to Bess. All right, all right. But don't go to any cockamamie seance. Don't believe in miracles. Excuse me. I gotta walk through a brick wall. Hope I make it. Believe in miracles? What else is there? My dear Mr. Houdini, I hope so desperately that I can help you. I'm more desperate than you are. If I could believe that Mama could really... Look, I'm a magician. All my life I've used tricks and sleight of hand. What I'm trying to say is I have to be sure you don't. I have no tricks hidden under my robe, I can assure you. I've got nothing at all. Won't you take my word for that? I'm from New York, but pretend I'm from Missouri. With the greatest pleasure. Well, I'll say this. If you can't raise the dead, nobody can. Don't worry. I can. Walter? Are you here? We have an unbeliever tonight. Can you give us a sign that you are here? Parlor tricks. Try to them now. Forgive him, Walter. He is in desperate grief. His mother passed over. Yes, I know. She is here. Mama is here.
Where have you been? Daisy White. Sam sent me over to see if you've had anything to eat today. Or this week. My God, this place is like a morgue. Come on. Let's go upstairs. We'll get you washed up. Compared to you, a mule would smell lovely. Get in there and shave. See who's coming by to take you to dinner. Don't let him see you this way. Has he seen Bess? I'm not supposed to tell you. Yes. Every day, find out how you are. Nobody in this whole lousy world. My boyfriend left me. I had an abortion. I don't have a nickel in the bank. But I still want to live. But I'm stupid. But go ahead. Shay. Okay. Don't leave me alone. picture in the paper a hundred times. Breaking out of jail. Getting buried in a coffin. You always got out, no matter what. I felt like you were doing it for me. See, Daisy? There's always hope. There's no hope. Right now, I'd like to die. No, you wouldn't. I didn't really come here for this, but... No, you wouldn't. Come to bed, Harry. show business myself. Chester and Hope. Did you ever hear of it? I'm sorry, no. That's why I'm working here. Hope is driving a garbage truck. Do you think it's all right for me to go in? Here's his chart. There's nothing wrong with him, except it gets worse every day. You figure it out. She's winning. You might want to try a hospital escape. Harry. Hello. Damn it! Please, you please, this is hospital. So now you recognize. So now you recognize. Get out, you old bat. 
He's normal. I'll be right outside if he gets violent. Someone else is taking his temperature. Why don't we cancel next week in Detroit? Go away someplace. 
any place where we don't find ourselves always talking about death. I got the shivers. Don't let anyone in you don't know, Minnie. Yes? Greetings. Sir Arthur and Lady Conan Doyle. Oh, come on. Who is it? Some nut. Says he's Sir somebody with Lady somebody. Sir Arthur, Lady Conan Doyle. Oh, come in. Yeah. Don't seem to be very welcome, huh? Hmm? Oh, don't mind, Minnie. She's going to be a bouncer in the house of ill repute. Oh, come. I was never that fortunate. Jean, so good to see you again. We didn't know you were in Washington. Yes. Were you at the show tonight? Yes, my dear. And I must say we were shocked. You know I'm here to lecture on spiritualism. I did resent all of us being called charlatans. Arthur, I know you're sincere, but these others are Harry. We came backstage tonight only because we were frightened. Your mother is trying so desperately to get in touch with you from the beyond. She has a warning. Come on, Arthur. Which phony told you that? This phony. Harry, you're in terrible danger. I haven't slept for three nights. Your mother is frantic to talk to you. To me. Come to our hotel. Now. I swear to you there is another world. I have seen this. You have to go, Harry. Well, if you'll promise not to do it naked. Yes. Yeah. Who are you? Do you believe in God? My mother would have cut off her right arm before she made the sign of a cross. Another little thing. She couldn't write English. Yiddish, German, Hungarian, so on. Not English. Perhaps she learned in heaven. What have they got up there? City college? Harry. That's another thing. Who got her to call me Harry? Thirty years I tried. Eric, she called me. Erinka. It's a nice name. You should be proud of it. In Budapest, I said it's a nice name. But until then, she street called me Harry. All right, Aaron, she said. I'll try, I should remember, Erinka. Then I'm just another crook. Of course not. You and Arthur want to believe so badly that you can talk to your son who were killed in the war. Surely you know what the subconscious can do to the mind. You want it so bad it seems possible. Don't you? Me? I want it so bad I tried to die. I wanted it so much I'm still waiting for one word from my mother. 
One word I'll know is from her. I believe. I believe it when I hear it. But I won't. It's finished. Tonight finished it. I'm convinced. Even honest people can't get through. Nobody can. We're stuck here on this side, and there is no other side. All right. Don't believe. But for God's sake, listen to her warning. I've been through this. Three of my friends have died, and the warnings weren't this clear. Call me a fake if you like. They call me your friend, too. Don't take the risk, Harry. Stop your atheistic crusade. And what happened to that man who wrote Sherlock Holmes? Has your brain turned to mush? Get out! Come on, Arthur. Use some comments. You have insulted me. You have insulted my wife, and more than that, you have insulted the Almighty himself. Doors feathers. Bull! Am I getting through? Did you have a nice talk with Mama? What turns and people into fools? Nobody's ever going to communicate with them beyond. Not like they do from New York, anyway. I was going through your suits to send them out to be pressed. I could have saved myself the trouble. These letters seem to be from Daisy White. They steamed your pants already. Excuse me. May I turn down the bed? Well, may not use it, but go ahead. Can't stop her from writing, can I? Well, you have to keep everything she writes to she Shakespeare. Are you going to leave me again? When I have to testify in front of Congress tomorrow. I don't know, Harry. I honestly I don't know, but I'm not going with you to hold your hand. All right, please. Who needs you? It's a cinch you don't. Let's just say goodbye. Degenerates and deliberate cheats and frauds. Fire! 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 F
the church. You were sent by the devil to destroy the church, just as Judas destroyed Christ. And Judas was also a Jew. There. It's out in the open. Houdini, how dare you call our ministers degenerate? You are the degenerate! You! A good Christian gave me these letters. They are proof that you are a scandalous, shameful adulterer. You stand in judgment against our Christian church. You are a vile beast. It's all here. All in black and white. I place this in evidence. Do you wish to answer? Yes. I do. It's true. I call a witness in my own defense. It's your privilege. I have my wife placed under oath. Mrs. Houdini, will you step forward and be sworn? Place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand, please. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Please be seated. Are you a Christian? Yes. Am I a Jew? Yes. How long have we lived together? Sharing the good, sharing the bad, Jew and Gentile side by side. Years, years, years and years. You still love me, Bess. Bess, you're under oath.
Please, Harry, don't do the water torture tonight. Bess, will you please stop this? I'm not sure I want to see you again. And yet I'm frightened to death I'll never see you again. Now, Bess, stop talking like this. Who is it? Bill Grant, Mr. Houdini. Uh, kids from the university paper. I'll get rid of them quick. Come on in. I only got a few minutes. Uh, Bill, uh, uh, Grant, and uh, Harry... Uh, Bill Slater, sir, from the boxing yeah, team. Yes, like as late as my wife. You still my wife? I don't know. After everything's happened, I'm still not sure I really know you. Harold heard your standing offer. Anybody can slug you in the stomach twice without hurting you? Right. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Oh, we thought it could lead off the story. Not with Daisy, not with Yak, not with anything. For once in your life, will you believe me? Does the offer still hold, Mr. Houdini? Yeah, it holds. It holds. I'm not gonna beg you anymore. Okay, you don't say. All right. I won't. <gasps> My God! You must be out of your mind! Harry, <coughs> are you all right? It's okay, Bess. It's okay. <laughs> okay, Slugger. <clears throat> you get another one coming. Harry. <clears throat> Nothing. See you after the show. I gotta get ready. You got rocks in your stomach. Yours are a little higher up. <laughs> your coffee blood. <laughs> Come on, you've got to lay down. Can you get up? Can you get up? Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Just lie down. Oh. Now, you're not going to go on tonight. I'm going to get you a doctor. Are you kidding? You have it all over town? I'll be finished. I'm ready to or some college kid. <laughs> Who walked through my dressing room wall? You sit down. Oh. Now sit down here, Harry. Uh. Oh, my God. Oh. I wasn't really going to walk out on you again, no matter what. I have to love you. I said it in front of Congress. Who do I have to say in front of so you believe me? You? You're you. You don't have to say it. I'm supposed to know. Believe, Bess. Believe. Harry, please don't go on stage tonight. Let me get you a doctor. Here it comes. She's crying again. Hey. 20 minutes, Mr. Houdini. I'll be there.
Harry Houdini died in Grace Hospital, Detroit, October 31st, 1926. He had lingered for several days. We all knew he was waiting for Halloween. Made such a good headline. It was after that strange night when Mama's picture fell off the wall and Bess fell down the stairs that she finally decided there might be something unusual going on. Bess had me call the First Spiritualist Church and see if they could reach the Reverend Arthur Ford. He must have been waiting by his Ouija board. Come in. Don't catch cold. Come in. It's miserable out. Miss Boleyn, too. We're out of gin. Can I take your coat? Uh, thank you for calling. Oh, don't thank me. I just work here. I'm a disappointed atheist. I don't believe in sin, and I'm not getting any. Beth? Get the bell from the graveyard. Hello, Reverend. Mrs. Savini, you've had an accident. Someone pushed her down the stairs. Only there wasn't anybody there. Happens all the time at your church, I'm sure. Are you a phony? You can tell me I used to be in the business. I don't know. That's the hell of an answer. She doesn't drink. Just two little martinis and a shot of cough syrup. She's not responsible. Yes, I am. I am a little drunk. And responsible. So I can say what I feel. I still ache for him at night. And if you're another four flusher, I'm going to expose you. Like we did all the others. I'm going to drive you and your phony church right into the East River. If you will excuse me, I think I'd better leave. Don't leave. You think I'd let one chance in a million pass? He could get out of straight jackets. He did that, didn't he? You know how? He could dislocate both of his shoulders. That's how you get out of a straight check. Would you do it? Even if you could? But he did it. They sealed him in a coffin and held him underwater for an hour and a half. The doctor said there was only enough oxygen for 15 minutes. But he did it. All his life, all he wanted to do was escape. How can I be sure that he's finally stopped trying? Go ahead, Reverend. What's your message for me from the great beyond? But remember, I know what it is. Harry and I agreed when I held him in my arms in the hospital. Harry and I agreed on a message no lying seance fakers could possibly figure out. Because the only place they could find it was in our hearts. Only if I hear it, word for word, will I believe. I'm a little dizzy, Emily. That cough syrup will do it every time. Come on, dear. Mrs. Houdini, I told you I have no message from your husband. Mmm, clever. What's your next move? To leave? I fear you are in no condition to listen to reason. What's reason got to do with it? If you've talked to Mama, prove it. I can't prove it. I can believe it. Only you can prove it. I have no idea what the message means. I'll know. Try me. I'll forgive. He died a long time ago, and he is my guide into eternity. I know that most of you are doubters, 
But please try to keep an open mind. As Shakespeare said, there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Read on. The message you want to hear. Yes, darling. Rosebell, please. I do. I do. He's giving me the rest of it now. He says you can take the app off your finger now. It's all right to tell what's engraved inside. I won't deny it. Tell her 
her death, Beth never denied that this was the exact message she and Harry had agreed on that Halloween night when he lay dying. The newspapers decided it was all a hoax, that Houdini hadn't come back. Me? I believe. I believe the son of a bitch loved her.